Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the last video we talked about how to upload a file to S3. Now in this video we are going to talk about Azure like how you can upload a file to Azure blob. Okay. So these are our two services which we have used. We will just create a copy of that and we'll convert things into Azure from S3. Just copy these in services. We'll paste it and we'll just create a just rename these s3 to azure so we can use the same code instead of writing it from scratch so file azure service upload azure service okay now let's get uh, started with this so this is upload azure service and file okay so when we talk about azure this is little bit different than what we have for the s3 for the s3 we need uh, access key and secret key and all these things for azure we just need a connection string of the blob url right uh, let me just change this file name okay that is what we need and we also need other libraries to be added like we need azure sdk so that we can install and uh, we are going to use uh, so azure sdk we can install from uh, our package so npm install minus minus save there is azure storage so we need azure storage that should be enough we don't need uh, some kind of azure sdk and all this azure storage will give us all the options okay we just need a azure blob service once that is there, once we have initialized the Azure Blob service with the help of the connection URL, we can actually call different methods. Like uh, there are different methods exposed from here. Like we have the create block blob from stream, uh, create block blob from text. I mean, you can write a text file, you can write an image, you can write a stream, you can write a buffer, you can append a text to a particular block, right? All these different different methods are there but we are we already have a stream and we are going to write a image stream to azure blob right and every file will be its own file we are not going to append so we can just use uh, if we look into the documentation then we will understand it but we can use create block blob from stream method okay so that we will add uh, in this method first we have to get the azure blob service access okay so here we will write our code file azure service okay now this is our main service and our upload service will call this so we can actually create the instance first of our private uh, you can call it as a blob service and blob service is of type storage dot blob service first let's get the azure storage important okay we don't need sdk now so what we are doing is storage dot blob service we got this type now we will just pass this everywhere to get the instance of blob service here we can have one method this is a private method because this will give a blob service instance get blob service get blob service instance and what it will do is it will just check it's like you can call it as a singleton this dot uh, blob service is there then return this return dot blob service otherwise you have to create it right how we can create what i said is you just need a connection string for this right so we can create it using storage dot there should be a method but it's not exposing storage dot some typo storage dot create uh, create blob service okay here we here we are and here we can actually pass process dot env dot 
connection string okay this will give us the instance right so all the other methods will call this private method first and why this is complaining okay this is correct so all the other methods will call this service first to get the instance okay we can actually say this is being initialized later so we can just put exclamation and then here now we can actually talk about the exact methods which are going to be exposed public async create a blob from stream okay this is the the method which we are going to expose and this indirectly will call this method to get the the blob service first and here we are going to take uh, these many arguments container name blob name stream and buffer because these all are required to upload a file onto azure blob so we need to import the readable readable from platform tools okay this is fine okay now inside this what we are doing is so and what this method is going to return we can also add a return it's going to return the blob result uh, and it is going to return a promise okay now we have to write our code here so first of all we will get the instance first of all we can get the instance of this blob service equal to this dot get instance now we have the azure blob service instance right and this library is callback based first of all let me just restructure this a little bit okay so we got the blob service promise is missing that is fine we are going to return new promise and from it takes to a callback i mean uh, it takes callback resolve and reject and here we will write our code and decide if we are going to resolve or if we are going to reject okay here we will just say return this dot blob service we have now and here we are going to call dot create this is the important method because this is uh, what azure blob service is providing from the documentation create block blog from stream this one create block blog from stream and we are going to pass all the arguments you can say the container name container name comma blob name comma stream comma we also have a buffer so we can actually get the byte length of buffer that's it of a dot byte length and this is the buffer we have so these are the arguments which are required okay and this method let me just put this method here this method is taking uh, two argument one is these arguments and another is a callback let me just see okay another is just a callback so here we can say in this callback either you will get error or either you will get a response and you can write error function just saying if we got an error if we didn't receive any error then we are good we can resolve our code right resolve response otherwise we are in not in good shape and we will just reject it some ESLint warnings and errors you can ignore for now let's see why this is complaining okay this is returning this blob service is missing on the following properties await oh, okay we are good now so maximum length is breaking let's say this okay everything is clean now so 
we are good fine so this is the the method which will actually do the upload and similarly there are other methods like if you want to do something else you copy and paste it and you write your own method because all the methods have the same syntax they are taking container name blob name uh, your stream or the buffer and the length of the buffer and then you are resolving it so what i will do is i have access to this blob service right first we are getting the blob service and then we are calling this so and this is returning a promise right so what we will do is we will call this from the upload azure service upload azure service here we got this file service dot and we need to take more arguments now dot create blob blob from stream and here we need to get the container name a lot of things we are going to get right so first of all let's get the container name uh, we'll get the stream and all these things and then we will call this method we currently we have only stream we have only buffer and we have only the file name so we can get the extension because we can actually get the file we, it's better if we can just pass the file object and the buffer so here we can actually get file dot original name original name and we can actually split the original name and can get the extension file dot original name dot split with dot and you do the pop so you will get the extension name pop will like pop will pop up the, the extension of that file and here we'll create the blob name which we are going with the name we are going to upload on azure so this dot get extension and pass your extension and the file just a method which we want to write to just give a file name and we can write a simple extension name extension get extension function this is just a helper method you can say this dot get extension which is you are passing the uuid you have to call this okay so now you already have maybe uid coming and we, we can also generate this we just need to import uh, uuid from uuid v4 something like this uuid from uuid v4 we will fix this if it's not working okay we got the uuid now create a block block from stream what all things we have we have the extension we will also get the container name from maybe process.env so that also we can get container name process.env dot container name okay now we can just call this method and here we also need to get a stream so there is a get stream function we are going to use from into stream npm package sorry for this const stream equal to we can call it as a get stream method and get the buffer and now we can also we can just pass all these things to our function right what all things it is taking it is taking your container name container name comma let's see what is the next argument blob name comma stream and comma buffer okay so if everything is fine it will upload it and then if anything goes wrong you will get an exception and this is a sync method whoever is calling this will get the exception we will get a stream from into stream function what you need is you just need to call that uh, service from file service by passing the container name blob name stream and the buffer okay important thing is the blob name is just a string which can be anything okay your file name uh, plus uuid as an extension plus dot jpg dot txt dot csv 
container name you already have it in your process.env and now buffer is in a stream stream you can get from the buffer and buffer you are already getting from the uploaded file file.buffer and stream we are calling get stream function okay these are the important things because uh, for the azure upload a stream buffer a lot of things is, is in the argument can confuse you and you can see this is the clean and uh, simple method which is returning a promise and it is taking if we are just calling this method from the apis blob service apis okay uh, thanks everyone so this is all about s3 upload and azure upload